All right, aligning with VWA and Bowtie. Um, like I said, so just like Blast, Blast makes a database out of its sort of 11 more words. Uh, both BWA and Bowtie uh, basically use the Burroughs Wheelers in slightly different ways to make a sort of index into its reference sequence. So there's always a pre-step of making your, of your, your index, but once you have that, you never need to make it again. You can do as many uh, alignments with that uh, index that you have. Um, as BWA and Bowtie were being developed, they sort of had trade-offs. Some people liked one more than the other. Currently, with the current version of BWA and Bowtie 2, they're pretty much the equivalent. They will not give you the exact same set of alignments, but they are pretty close to each other. And they run in more or less the same amount of time. Um, you can imagine both of these are easily parallelizable. Um, basically, each read that you're looking at, uh, trying to match to the, the genome, does not depend on any of the other reads you have. So if you have eight cores of CPU in your machine, you can basically spawn off eight things where you've divided up your data into eight parts, and each of them can run on their own. Um, and I'll get back in, in the next uh, slide. Each of them basically produces the SAM files, which has basically become the standard format for alignment files. Um, each constructs their file slightly different. They are both conform to the standard, but um, the order in which they put them in the file and some of the extra flags that they put in are slightly different between these two programs. Um, so the SAM file. Uh, SAM is a sequence alignment map. Um, it records basically all the information you need to know about an alignment. Um, the location, uh, the position of the alignment, uh, whatever the program decided was the uh, quality of its map because um, it may have mapped to the location. There may be some differences, like I said, either based on the fact that there might be an error in the sequencing or that there is some sort of variant going on. Um, so it scores, basically signs that one of those FRED scores is basically, in that case, a measure of how likely it thinks it made an error in matching it there. Uh, there is this thing called a cigar string. Uh, this is a fairly complicated sort of set of ASCII codes, which is supposed to tell you sort of details about the base by base alignment of your read to that particular part of the reference genome. Um, it's important, I guess, to know that it exists, but knowing the details of it are not really important unless you're writing a program that uh, manipulates SAM and BAM files. Um, and then there's this extra set at the end of extra variables where basically you can create uh, an extra set of just values. Uh, this is one of the main ways that PWA and Bowtie differ, is that they have a bunch of extra little flags they throw on that tell you um, information that they think was useful about this alignment. Um, specifically, um, things like, is this a unique read match or not? So you can imagine that, especially if you have a lot of repeat regions in your genome, sometimes it will match uh, one of your reads to multiple places in the genome. Usually one of them will score a lot better than the others and it'll say, okay, I'm just going to ignore those others because this one has a much more distinct higher score. I'm going to call that a unique read and it only matches one place. And that's good. That's what you hopefully want because, like I said earlier, that read did in fact come from just one place in the genome. Uh, it's possible to have multiple mapped reads. Uh, different groups have different standards about how they feel about them. If you match just to a few places in the genome, it could just be that it's a homologous region. You have some gene that was duplicated from another gene, and so they still share enough homology that perhaps that read belongs to both places. So a couple of multi-matched things, generally not a problem, depending on what you're working on. Then you can have things that like map to lots of locations, and then usually say, eh, it's probably a repeat or something. Um, BAM. BAM file is basically just a binary version. It's the exact same data. Uh, you just can't read it as text. Um, because it's so much smaller, it's something that you can actually uh, upload to the UCSC browser. And even though it will be a pretty dense view if you, for any of you who are familiar with the UCSC browser, uh, you can set that to like your, you know, show me everything view. And it will basically show you each one of those reads kind of kind of like this, except it's going to be these like long chains of them. Uh, 
to each part of the genome, which you know can be useful if there are specific parts of the genome that you're interested in looking at, not necessarily from you're actually analyzing it just by eye, but say if you've done like a chip seek um, experiment and um, you know from previous work there are def there's a few definite places it should be binding, right? You can go in there, check to see, you've got to get a lot of binding there, right? It's a quick sort of visual check of these sorts of things. Um, SAM tools. Okay, so SAM tools is um, just a suite of, of, of programs. They do various functions to manipulate the SAM or BAM files. Uh, obviously, one of them would be the SAM to BAM conversion. Uh, you can index the files. Uh, a lot of programs uh, want you to index the files so they have sort of an easy access to the inside. Uh, they will sort the reads uh, by chromosome. Uh, in theory, I think Bowtie is supposed to pre-sort them all by chromosome. Uh, BWA is kind of bad about just sort of throwing the reads into the file as it finds them. Um, you can merge SAM and BAM files. And there's this one option, which I think is being deprecated. I don't know why, because I really like it, called flag stats. Uh, it will sort of take your alignment file and give you a quick set of stats about how many of your reads were aligned, how many of them were uniquely aligned, how many of them were multiply aligned. Uh, in the case of um, paired-in data, um, if one read was aligned but the other read wasn't aligned. Um, 